Hi guys, welcome to another video. We've had an email through about what happens if someone grabs your cane. Um, not as in grabbing it, but as in taking it away. So, get... Haha. Right, so I'm in the street, I've seen a ruffian come in and I'm like, back off! You don't want none of this, son! So they've grabbed your cane, what's going to happen? The big thing here is anyone that is not trained he has to come and get his cane. Two big strikes that we've found, and we've, we've done a bit of research on this, is the baseball swing. Whoa. Oh no, I don't know what to do about that. And the overhead. Whoa. Please strike me violently on my cranium. So, we're going to bring young Dan in and Dan's going to be a nice little kid because I'm sick of being here. And now we're back at a dojo, I can get away with stuff. And we're going to show you the techniques that we're going to use. These are just ideas, guys. You may see something you can use. Kev will have to modify them. Definitely. That'd be another video, I think. And I would soften them up before I did them, but just to give you an idea of what we can do. Okay, so the first technique, I'm going to come down with a downward strike, because I like a downward strike. Now Chris is not going to just stand there, are you mate? Yeah, okay. <laughs> he's coming in, and he's doing double punch, elbow strike. He's making sure that he's offline, so even if I'm stronger than him, it's going to go past him. Once he's got to here, he's going into basically a, a nice little hip throw, but he's taking me right. Yeah, I'll let you throw down, I think. Now for the second strike, Everyone, just for some reason, give them a stick. The first thing they do is they go, Rrrr! Okay, I didn't expect that. Didn't expect the dance there. But as you can see, all it is is coming in, because he's stepping offline, he's making contact, he's negating the force of the cane, he's now got my wrists, and over I go. Aha! But what if I'm gonna poke him? Because I know my pokes. I've got your cane, I know. <laughs> okay, so normally I'm quite a brave person as you know, but... You're scared of your wife. I'm scared of everyone. You're scared of your wife. But everyone's scared of my wife. We're going to bring in the Dan. Yes, the Dan is back. Yes! Dan's come up, he's grabbed my cane for whatever reason, and he wants to do this. As soon as he brings that over his head, I'm stepping in, and I'm countering. So if he does push past, it's not going to hit me. Now the key to this, with all of these, with his double-handed grab, I'm going to grab between his arms and hands. So I've got a lock. I can control the cane. He's not liking that. I'm just going to turn, and I'm going to this, I'm going to... And he still hasn't let go, so that gives me an opportunity now, would I ziggy him? No. Nice and slowly, from the other angle, he's brought it up, he wants to hit me, I've come in. This may not be a powerful strike, just a distraction, but he's coming through, grabbing. Now, I've grabbed his hand this time, so I've grabbed the cane. So I'm turning, dropping, and I'm... He's still got a hold of it, but I've got the advantage here. I see a perfectly good potty trainer technique here. Or I can escape quickly. But this is going to be the nice baseball swipe. Now, he's more than likely going to go for my head, if he's got any sense. So, bring it up. So, I want to step in and negate. I'm grabbing his hand again, grabbing his wrist, not necessarily the cane, but I'm getting between there. That makes his life awkward. And I'm using the cane to lever. Now, if I'm here, I can, that way, I can step through, that way. The throws are endless. He will not let go of my cane. I can't hit you either on the floor. 
As soon as that's up, I'm in, I'm through. Now, I was tempted there to step past him, but that would have made my life awkward. So I'm going to step through, grabbing, pulling, turning, dropping, dropping. Like really ground biking. You know that one you don't like. <laughs> yeah, that one. Please, sir, may I have another? He's going to poke me. This is actually quite a hard thing to defend against. So I'm, I'm concerned about this, but if I see it, I want to come in. Now I have to do this hollow out, and hopefully, I got hit then, and I expect to get hit. But I want to pull that with him. Now the rule is, whoever's got the most cane will win. Now one of my, you've probably seen this technique, is to have more cane than him. Bringing it, if he's pulling, I just pull it with me. Well, that takes a lot of skill to grab that in a panic situation. So if I do see that, I'm just going to leave it out of the way. I can use a blunt object like my forearm to hit him. And I look, I'm in the same position I was before. You've got a bruise on your arm. <laughs> <laughs> then we have our cane releases. I can see him, I just step. It's not a big step, I only have to move that much. I'm out of the way. I can then think about grabbing the cane. Because I probably assume my fine hand motor skills are gone because the adrenaline, I can use my arms and I can just turn it. If you like evading, if he does the downward strike again, so you've got to be pretty confident in your skills with this. But he, he will give that indication, the more you lean back, the more power you're going to get, so I can see it. So it gives me that whole opportunity again. He doesn't let go, I can keep turning. Try both, walking in, evading. Thanks for watching guys, we hope you liked the video, as usual, drop us a comment down below, helps us out, keeps us going. We have merch, there is a link in the description for Teesprings. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, ring the bell, I do it just to annoy you, it's a look of pain and anguish on your face. Three simple words and I can't manage it, but you're thinking all these horrible thoughts right now. It's true. So, but I'm not scared because I free the fear. Did you ring the bell? The tiny tiger of terror <laughs> tinged it. If you like this video guys, Jackie you blow me is some cane grab videos that we've got. Check them out. Check out the old proverbial 3x6 because that's 18. What's the square root of minus two? Yes.